Hello my gorgeous friends of Webflow, I'm Francesco and if you don't know who am I, well in this channel we do Webflow things and we make them simple and accessible to everybody from time to time by using a whiteboard. But not today, because today we are gonna jump right into Webflow and talk about sections, containers, div blocks. We will see what these elements really are inside Webflow. We will also try to understand what are the differences between these elements and we will give a few hints on what these elements can be used for. And so, without further ado, let's jump right into Webflow. And there we go, we have a very basic setup here, a section, a container, a div block, no classes applied, what we can see here, the background color and the border are just coming from this embed element that I'm using to highlight things on the page. Now, one thing to notice is that Webflow has a couple of internal rules to manage these elements. For example, we cannot add a section inside another section. If we try to do that, Webflow says section elements cannot be nested inside each other. And the same thing holds for container elements. If we try to add a container inside another container, Webflow says container elements cannot be nested inside each other. But apart from that, what really are these elements inside Webflow? Well, we can jump directly to the live link and inspect the content of the page. So right click on the page, click on inspect, and here we can see the HTML structure of the page. Down here, there's a list of all the stylings that are applied to a specific element inside the page. We can just click on this button at the top left corner of the inspect panel, hover over the section to, and click on the section to highlight it inside the HTML structure. And we can see that a section inside Webflow is just a div block because the div HTML tag is used here. But a section also has these wf-section class on it. But if we try to inspect this list down below, and by the way, this is the custom CSS that I'm using to highlight things inside the page, so don't worry about it. We cannot find this class anywhere, which means that this class is only used internally by Webflow and is not used to apply any specific stylings to the section element. Now, let's do the same thing for the container. And we can see that the container element inside the Webflow is once again a div block because the div HTML tag is used here as well, but a container element inside Webflow has a w-container class on it. And if we inspect this list here, we can see that this class is used to set both the left and right margin to auto. This is why a container is always centered inside its parent. Also, Webflow uses this class to set the maximum width of a container to 940 pixels. This is why here the container is not taking up all the available space inside the page wrapper. We can also see that Webflow uses a couple of selectors onto the container element, but we are not interested in that today. And finally, let's do the same thing for the div block. And we can see that, guess what? A div block inside Webflow is just a div block. No content inside, no class applied. But now, what can we use these elements for? Well, we can use a section to uh, wrap content elements that are about the same topic. It could be a hero section, an about section, a team section, a project showcase section. Then, inside a section, we can use a container, we can throw a container to keep elements neatly bound towards the center. Now, in Finally, inside a container, we can use div blocks to organize elements using layout, spacing, size, and position. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. And if you liked it well, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions or want to share thoughts about things I might improve, well, feel absolutely free to throw a comment down below. And today, my weekly recommendation is, once again, a song from Lisa that is called Homeda. Link in the description down below. And so, see you next time. Ciao, matane!